Someone recently asked me, Logan, why did you become a CPA? I said, I don't know, but I should make a video out of that. So I thought I'd ask a bunch of CPAs why they became a CPA in Las Vegas at one of the biggest accounting conferences for CPAs, AICPA Engage. Um, I got a D in a computer science class, so I had to find something else to do. And then the internship I got junior year paid better than any of my buddies' internships. And that is just as much thought went into it. Got paid pretty well for being, you know, 20 years old. When you're 20 years old, like, what else matters, you know? That was all I was worried about. I think I cared about video games. How about that? This is my interview. Oh, I'm sorry. The real answer is because I grew up poor and I wanted a job that was stable. I became a CPA because I saw that people that had letters were, first of all, getting promoted faster than everybody else, but also there were just a lot of opportunities that I wasn't going to have access to without pursuing that designation. I actually became a CPA because I went to college uh, in 2007, 8, and 9, and basically <laughs> when I was choosing what uh, major to do, accounting was the only one where I was like, oh, I know we're going to have a career when I get, when I get done. I uh, actually wanted to be an accountant ever since I was a little kid. I was one of those kids who was like, I wanted to do, I, I didn't know that I wanted to do taxes when I was a little kid, but um, you know how they say, like, be careful what you teach your children? So my mom was a receptionist at a tax office, so I spent tax season, like, hanging out in the tax office, and then she went to go work at a construction firm and uh, had me do the books as unpaid child labor. And then from there, when I went to college, uh, I just knew I wanted to be in the accounting program. And uh, since I went to Gonzaga, like the accounting program means you're just, you're gonna get a CPA. Sounds pretty cool, mom, doesn't it? I was, I actually graduated as computer science degree and was out doing that and didn't enjoy it, uh, just based on where I was working, I think. Decided money was in sales, so I went into sales for a year and realized I was really bad at it. And one day I just realized, you know what? Remember that one accounting class I had in college? I really enjoyed that. And not that you have to be a fan of numbers, but I enjoyed numbers and all that. And it just had an epiphany. And one day I called my wife from the road and said, I'm gonna quit my job. I'm gonna go back to school full time because I want to be a CPA. And that was pretty much her response. Was like, we'll talk when we get home. <laughs> Actually, I don't even have an accounting degree, but I had enough, which is different than today, you know, maybe with the hundred hours, but didn't even have an accounting degree. I had enough hours, took the exam, and, and that was it. Do you want me to interview you? Sure. What was the first question? Why did you become a CPA? Why did you become a CPA? Oh, well, when I was in high school, I took an accounting class and yeah. Tight, tight 20 seconds, please. Okay. Tight. High school, accounting class, joined accounting team, loved accounting, puzzles, I like puzzles, and numbers, uh -huh. and money. Mm. And I always wanted to make money, so okay. joined, went to college, didn't know I needed to be a CPA. They said, five year program to get a CPA. I said, okay, here we are. Mm. Oh, it's kind of deep. Uh oh, I think my shirt's gonna get wet. The serious answer uh, is you can kind of do anything. Like, if you are into gaming, like, you can develop a niche with, like, game developers or streamers. Or, like, kind of the fun of what we do, I think, is it can sort of follow your interest. Mm -hmm. um, you could, I mean, you could run a very generic firm, but you can also, like, build a niche practice around the sort of stuff that you geek out on. And so it's like, you can almost use a CPA, or you can, you can use a CPA and virtually any type of business. Mm -hmm. So like if you have that level of agency, like if it's your own firm, you can go out and, and kind of combine work with fun and the stuff that you enjoy. I love the PTO. Right out of right of college I had six weeks paid PTO and there was the busy season piece. But even though I worked that, the time after that to travel was like unheard of. None of my friends had any more than one week, two weeks, anything like that. Honestly, and I wouldn't have said this probably before Twitter, is the community. Like, I've been kind of overwhelmed at how many people are willing to help, how many people will walk you through things, and I think just being a CPA mm -hmm. kind of puts you in another smaller circle for people to be able to be like, oh, there's something relatable about you that mm -hmm. helps me to be able to help you. Well, now, I mean, my favorite part is 
you know, when I when I actually get to have that rewarding moment with the client where, you know, you you come up with an idea to save them money or some way to give them something that they they don't have to do. And that's where, you know, as a tax preparer, tax professional, you know, the stress that people have with taxes is a, a burden that most people don't think about. And uh, just being able to take that off their back is, is very rewarding for, for the average, uh, you know, average client I have. Um, I'd like to say it's the get invited to cool parties. Uh, actually, okay, the best part of being a CPA, and this is exactly what I love about being a CPA, is that as a profession, this entire profession is geared towards like protecting the public. And it never, it never struck me until someone was, was like, you know, if we didn't have CPAs, who would be, who would be certifying financial statements that investors rely upon? And I was like, that's super awesome. It's too bad I'm a tax CPA, so we don't do that. But um, just kind of like all of our standards are directed towards protecting the public financial interest. And like when you think about that, it makes it kind of oh. like feel kind of heavy. <laughs> like it. Honestly. This, I love the people, I love the collaborations, I love the fact that we all get to work in an industry that we enjoy, with people we enjoy, and share our knowledge with each other. And then obviously the client and the things, but for me it's the, the people first, which the clients are part of that, but I just mm -hmm. love that part of it. Yeah, who's the youngest CPA that you know? I don't know. Uh, 32. 32? Yeah. You? Maybe. Am I? I'm the youngest CPA here, so. No, you're not. I know. <laughs> Are you really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> oh my, how old are you? 32. You. <laughs> uh, so I, I know some some of my fraternity uh, brothers who graduated uh, a few years ago, and they're working for big four accounting firms now. <laughs> so how old are they? Uh, 24, 24, 25, right? Oh, yeah, so somewhere around there. How old are you? 32. What was that? 22. 32. I actually know a younger CPA than that. I know a 27 year old CPA. I mean, she's 24. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she's. Is she here? She, no, we wanted her to be here. We well, I think you're tied for the youngest CPA I know. Uh, Nick Pantaleo, who is our CFO, came to work with us. Your CFO is, th is 32. He's 32 years old and a partner. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he, I actually hired him. He was tr a trainer at the gym I was working at, just graduated college. So he was a physical trainer. He was a trainer. Now he's a CFO. Now he's a CFO. Awesome. So uh, how do you turn this thing on? Push to start. Let's go. Where is the Mercedes guy gone? All right, go, 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 go. So he, it'll only show like top, so. Riley, are you a cameraman? Is that what you are? And maybe like belly and above. You have more belly. Shot. You have more belly and above than I do. <laughs> you are. You're Name a famous CPA. <clears throat> Logan Graf. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. He's got a whole bunch of. That's me. Here. They've all, they've been a bunch of people that are like. Oh my gosh, it's Logan. Look at his shoulders. For most of what people in our profession, you don't even need to be a CPA. I love being a CPA. Is that a, is that a no no on this <laughs> discussion? What's your astrological sign? I'm a Leo. Okay. 